you locked in with the transition defense and rebound. What did you do the morning of that game at Michigan State? You know, Terry said he kept you guys kind of at the hotel. Were you even aware of what was going on? Uh, I don't even remember that week, okay. honestly. I couldn't even tell you that day. But, uh, I don't know. We've had we've had different routines as far as you know going into game and stuff. So I'm sure they'll have something for us that they believe works best for us. You know, coming to the game tomorrow. Maybe so you had 36 points combined in the last two games this year. Is this the highest your confidence levels ever been in terms of shooting the ball? Uh, I wouldn't I wouldn't say it's like the highest I've ever been, but you know I'm just just continuing to be confident. We're going into the stretch of the season where you know guys got to be ready to play. You got got to step up, and uh, you know everybody's locked in, want, wanted to win and. Uh, take care of business so I think a lot of guys are going to step up you're going to see a lot of guys uh, continue to make plays and you know just just be ready to go. Is Aaron, coach has talked about over the past month have you, how you guys have done a be much better job with decision making on that last possession against Minnesota. You or Ant could have forced a three, but instead yeah. you decided to pass to Darrell. Is that another sign of your intelligence and maturity, particularly on offense? Without a doubt. I think it's definitely a big sign of our intelligence and maturity. But at the same time, it's just uh, you know trusting our teammates. Anthony Cowan, I mean, I thought he was going to shoot the first one that I passed him. I mean, he had a, a good look at it. Daniel Latour closed out on him, and uh, you know he was able to, you know, get him out of his rhythm. So he decided not to shoot it, and he trusted me. He swung it to me. I didn't have a shot. Saw Daryl open and trusted him, and he hit it. So I mean, having that faith in your teammates and believing that they'll make the right play is is key to a team success. And uh, we have, you know, those that trust within our uh, tight knit group. As these games turn, especially as you come back. Has there been an uh-oh moment when you look across at the opponent and they realize you guys are coming back and this game isn't over? Yeah. Uh, I'm not sure. Uh, the games that we've been trailing, you know, I think we all believe that we, we can come back and we'll win games. But at the same time, uh, the games where we're winning and – uh, another team's cutting down a deficit. We're just always locked in, and we're always ready to go. So, I mean, regardless of the run, you know, basketball is a game of runs, so regardless of the run a team makes or the run that we make, we know that we have to continue to take care of the little things and do the little things well for us to come out with the results. Is it, a, is it a fun thing for you guys to be in those crunch moments? Uh, no, nah, I wouldn't say it's a fun thing for us because, I mean, you don't want to be in those situations where, you know, it's, it's it can go either way type thing. So, you know, but when you come out with a result that you want, you're happy with it, so 